It's channel update. <laughs> I just crashed into the other side. <laughs> I need need something a bit entertaining, you know. Um, everything's a bit down at the moment, so um, we're just gonna crash into a load of boxes. You know the effort I put into that as well. I had to like clear out a saxophone case, and if, you can actually see the stuff on the floor, can't you? You can see the tip, like the art fold. Anyway, right. I'm here to talk about channel update because. I mean, I've tried to film this video so many times, I've tried to, I've been trying to update my channel since November and I had it like ready to go and then, and then um, the whole, it, the situation we're in now, I can't say the word because YouTube's like demonetized for the, 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 the thing, but you know what's going on. That came along, um, all the schools got shut and I was like, well, my video's not really relevant anymore. Um, so here I am in in lockdown. Um, we've reached the point where I've decided it's socially acceptable to wear a backwards cap. Um, <laughs> it, it's still not socially acceptable. I'm doing it anyway because it makes me happy. We're joined by the giraffe. He doesn't have a name. If you want to give him a name, he came from my wall in my art room. Um, we had the, the art rooms at college. It's such a small college that everyone has their own desk and you can stick stuff on the wall. So I had a giraffe on the wall that I definitely didn't make during lesson and I was definitely doing my work and not making a giraffe. He needs a name. Give him a name. Right. I need to stop waffling. Let's talk. So update thing number one is I am now on the Armchair Historian website. I say now, I've been on the Armchair Historian website since November. I'm an atrocious human being. Basically, right? The Armchair Historian is this uh, really quite big history YouTuber, um, makes some great content, really interesting stuff. If, you, if you're a history nerd, you should definitely go check out. I mean, quite a lot of you here will be history nerds, seeing as this is a channel about history. But you might just be a GCSE dude. Soon to become a history nerd with my conversion. <laughs> what am I going on about? So anyway, as you might be aware, YouTube, the YouTube history community, we have quite a lot of problems with demonetization, as in the algorithms like, hmm, that's a bit dodgy. You know, the moment you mention the, um, I don't want to say the word in case I get this video gets flagged. The, the people in the Second World War who, who did the bad things, um, you say you mention them in your video, YouTube algorithm, thumbs down, demonetized. Um, so to get around this, the Armchair Historian was like, you know what we can do? We can set up a separate website. So the Armchair Historian has this like uh, paid subscription service on his website, which is where you can you pay and then the YouTube creators, there are a load of um, really cool history YouTube history crea creators on the website. Some of the content's exclusive, some of it isn't. I have some content on there. None of the content I have there is exclusive. But you know, might do is sometime in the future. Um, and essentially it's a kind of way of getting around the fact that YouTube history often gets kind of penalised by the YouTube algorithm and the demonetization gods. It's a really, really cool little website with some, some cool stuff going on. Um, recommend you go check out if that sounds like your thing. If you're a history nerd, it's a good place for you. You can support some of your best, your best, your favourite history creators and see some some cool content there's i've i've watched some of the it's some pretty cool content point number two i'm just gonna keep on spinning at this point um i i now have a patreon yeah a patreon um so if you think that i deserve to be paid for my work i'm aiming to get to minimum wage that would be cool um then you can head on over to my patreon but also even if you don't think I should be paid, there's some cool some cool stuff on Patreon. Um, if you if you become a Patreon, you can get a shout out at the end of the cats outside. I'm getting meowed at. He wants to come in. Apologies for the cat distraction. I am now back. Let's see what I was talking about. Patreon. Yes. Cool things on Patreon. Right. Um, what was I going to say about Patreon? Yeah, so if you, if you if you become a patron, you can get your name 
shouted out at the end of videos, which hopefully you think that's cool. Um, but I've also got on Patreon, there are a load of, I've worked with my mum, uh, makes some kind of e-learning type stuff, if you know what that is. Uh, essentially, on my Patreon I have a load of like revision quizzes, interactive revision quiz type things um, that match... <laughs> Camera bag just fell over. I have a load of interactive <laughs> revision quizzes that um, match the different videos, so I'm going to put an example one linked in the description. It'll be the one for my video on Anglo-Saxon society. So you can go and check that out and see if that's something cool. And if you like that, um, it's a good way to kind of, I'd say it links to the like understanding phase of revision. So you can watch the video and then you can check back and see what you can recall from the video. And also you can come back to it periodically and just kind of keep your knowledge ticking over, check you know what you're doing. And also, if you want to give me a lot of money, then I will draw you in the A Long Long Time Ago style. And you get that at the end of the video. Um, there may be more cool things coming in the future, but uh, we haven't got that far yet. So that's Patreon. Um, if you think I should get paid, go there. Um, that's if you can afford to make me get paid. I don't want people who can't afford to give me money giving me money. Only give me money if you can afford it. But if you can, then I appreciate it. But I still appreciate it if you can't. You're all welcome here. Another cool thing that I wanted to talk about, um, this is this is a, a really cool thing. I have a long-time subscriber called Francesco. He is a legend, all hail. Um, he has written a book and um, he shared this book with me and I was like, this is, this is awesome. So essentially it's a book that is a kind of guide to revision like a how to revise, how to set about revising. It's not so much revision methods as how to get your life in order so that you can revise and understanding the concepts you need to revise. It's kind of basically um, a roadmap for year 11. In fact, he calls his book a roadmap um, and you can find it online. I will leave a link uh, down, down. That's where I can leave links. Um, you should go and check it out. It's cool. <laughs> what a great plug. So that leads us on to the event. Um, the thing that's happening. Let's talk about Ish. Let's talk about it. I mean, it's all that anyone's talking about at the moment. My chair is so squeaky. So let, let's, let's, let's talk. Um, so, I uh, guess it would have been a, a week, two weeks ago. It was a while ago now, actually. Um, I put up a post asking about uh, now that schools have been shut and GCSEs and A-levels have been cancelled, what I should be doing in terms of content, what you want me to do in terms of content, because obviously I was going to be doing quite a... I say I was going to be doing a GCSE-focused thing, I was really struggling because my workload with A-levels, I was really struggling with it because I had four subjects and like an EPQ and I was doing something completely independent from my history coursework. Um, so I guess now that's quite a lot of stress relief for me and it means I can focus on some of my more creative projects. Um, because I'm a, I'm a creative person at heart. I like academic things, they're cool, but I like creative things perhaps a little bit more. I like combining them, that's the best. Um, so I was like, well, what do you want me to do um, in terms of content? Uh, I said, I'm, we're going to be doing some, some streams, um, some live streams. I'm currently, well, we've had some quite, quite big problems with my internet. Um, I mean, my internet has always been terrible. I, I do not recommend. Um, but literally, the week that everything went into lockdown, my internet just started randomly cutting out. So you'd be like halfway through doing something and it's just like, nope. And it would then spend longer cut out than it was active. And when it was active, we were working with it like one stage, it was a download speed um, that got as low as two megabits top notch and then an upload speed of half a uh, megabit and we're like this is this is great this is the speed we need really um so i haven't really been able to upload anything because the internet's too slow but we've had a new um router sent out to us and also some 4g mini hub thing for whilst we wait for an engineer to come out so anyway we're gonna try and do some live streams once um 
stuff is sorted. I might be able to do that soon. Maskahoot. I love Maskahoot. It's great. Um, we'll, we'll sort out of time. We'll arrange it. Really your time? I was going to say we'll arrange a place. The place... Everyone come round to my house. Um, very social distancing. Nah. The place will be our computer screens. And... And that'll be fun. That'll be a good laugh. Um, obviously I won't be able to have... I uh, can have Byron remotely, but um, he'll be able to help me remotely, but he doesn't live here, so... It, I, I can't really let him into the house. Um, I mean, it's dangerous enough letting him into the house anyway. Uh, and... Um, also, in terms of... I've been working on some videos, um, which you'll be pleased to hear. I still have to finish some coursework, because all my subjects have coursework, in fact. Um, I've got, like, history coursework. Geography coursework's basically done. History coursework, you're on the home straight now, which is cool. Um, and then my other two subjects, art and music tech, are both entirely coursework. Music tech, I've just got some write-up thing to do. And art, I still have, like, a proper unit to do um, and finish. But it will be cool, because at least these subjects I will actually be able to finish. And even... Because you know that feeling, I feel like everyone's got that feeling where it's like I've spent two years working on these subjects and working towards these exams and then not to be able to take the exams, it's just like, what was the point? But with having two subjects that are entirely coursework based, at least with those two subjects, it's not what was the point. And I mean, it, it feels really bad at the time, but at the same time, you kind of, you've learnt a lot. Um and doing sick form has like i've learned more i'm going to be more prepared for university i'll talk about that in a second um and they aren't two years wasted but it does it does feel like it in many ways i can't remember what i was saying i just went on a tangent what was i saying i can't remember what i was saying so anyway i have to finish finish some coursework which means it might be a, a little bit of time before i am um, I, I've got content properly pouring out, but I've started work on some stuff. I have put together, we're gonna get your first Cold War video. Lots of people have wanted some Cold War content. Um, I, I've made, I've written a script, I haven't made the video, I've written the script, I've recorded the audio. Um, so at some point in the uh, ambiguous future, that will be coming along. That video might take a while because I don't have any Cold War characters at all yet. So. And one of the things that takes the longest is just drawing all the characters. Um, so, for instance, I find it qu much quicker to make, say, a video on the Anglo-Saxons because I have loads of Anglo-Saxon characters um, than I would do making a video on the Cold War, which is, like, a completely new topic, um, at least in terms of videos I've made. And I've also been working on some Prime Punishment videos. So, in fact, speaking <laughs> of the Anglo-Saxons, I will... I've got the scripts written and I'm like part way through recording the sound for um for basically there's three no four crime and punishment videos it's four yeah it's four crime and punishment videos um which means that I will have covered the whole of anglo-saxon crime and punishment um because I haven't made a crime and punishment video in ages so finally we're getting one um there have been actually because initially when I found out schools were shut and GCSEs weren't happening I was like damn that means no one's gonna be watching my videos and I'm not gonna get that this <laughs> you look at my analytics the night before the first history exam it just goes whoop <laughs> um, and you can't see the difference in the rest of the year because the spike is so massive that night and my channel will just go in size so I won't have that this year but actually lots of people want online content and there are still year 10s out there um, there are still year 12s, there are still people who need, who need to learn about GCSE content, so I am going to be continuing making GCSE content, and I might try some more experimental things, making history about other random bits. Um, I do have a list of ideas down there. I've also got another, a few other ideas that I've just kind of wanted to talk about for a while. So, prepare for content. Content is coming. Um, and hopefully reasonably soon, although my coursework is coming first. And finally, now I've talked about talked about content and my channel, I thought it might be, you know, as the um, narcissist that I am, 
let's talk about me and where I'm at with the whole um I was about to say the word I can't say the word with with the event that is happening obviously I've been affected in the fact that my A levels have been cancelled um I was meant to be having A levels this year um it means that when I go about, you know, boasting about A-level grades, presuming I'm able to boast about my A-level grades and I don't get, like, U's in everything, fingers crossed, um, everyone will just be like, oh, you're from, you're from that year when the event happened. Um, didn't really sit your exams, did you? But, you know, um, I'm reasonably... I, I had a bit of a... I mean, I feel like everyone went through a quite an emotional roller coaster those weeks leading up to schools shutting where it just became more and more clear um one of my history teachers made some correct predictions about when schools would shut and the fact exams wouldn't be going ahead and he said that to me kind of further in advance he was like it seems unlikely that exams are going to be going ahead and my motivation just went whoop um and then that like Wednesday night, it didn't really hit me until the following morning. I was driving to college on Thursday, just like bawling my eyes out, just like I've literally got two days left at college to wrap my life up. And the next bit of normal I'm going to get is when I'm going to be at university. And obviously that's all thrown up in the air. Um, but I'm reasonably content having spoken to my teachers. So in terms of university, I have I've uh, set my firm and insurance and um, I'm gonna talk, I want to make a video properly talking about university, where I've chosen, why I've chosen it. I can't decide whether or not I should reveal where I've chosen here, or whether I should just leave you hanging in suspense. Should I be nice or not? I've chosen a university, um, I'm reasonably confident that I will get the grades to go there, hopefully. Touch some wood. Um, I really want to go there because it's an awesome city and an awesome university um, but I'm going to be talking in more detail about about, about the university. I'm going to be studying history um, and I'm very much looking forward to university. Um, I had some plans for you know long summer but unfortunately those won't be going ahead with the event that's happening um, so I'm just going to be filling my time making videos and coursework and what have you but I'm Oh, I had the emotional roller coaster, and just like because I'm someone who really likes to get up and go out and leave the house and see people. Like if I don't leave the house and see people that I couldn't see in a normal day and socialize, at some some extent, it doesn't feel like I've had a real day. It just feels a bit sad and depressing. I'm a proper high quality ambivert. I need the alone time. And I need the social time. And I need both of the things mushed together. But I was very much confused, thrown up in the air when, like, suddenly all this uncertainty came along. And actually, now that we're in lockdown, it feels like it can't really get that much worse than this. And actually, I've got used to it now. And it doesn't seem that bad. Like, I'm, I'm coping fine. Um, I'm happy again. Um, which is good. I'm reasonably content just kind of getting on with things noodling, be going out for my daily exercise, um, doing the, you know, been for some cycle rides, been for some skateboards, because I'm that kind of cool person who skateboards. I'm really terrible at skateboarding, but it's fun. I recommend. Um, that was one of the cool things that came out from doing GCSEs, actually. That was a video I wanted to make, was about ex exam routine, but I don't feel like that's going to be very relevant this year. Um... Maybe I should just release a video on the, <laughs> when exam season would be so we can all just sit there and mourn for our exams that we would have been taking. That sounds so weird. So anyway, I'm, I'm doing alright. Um, I'm going to be making a video about why I chose what university because, because why not? Um, I feel like it would be interesting. I feel like that's all I need to say and that I need to shut up now because I'm just making more editing work for myself. Anyway, I believe that's all that I need to update you on. If there's anything that I've forgotten, then uh, I lose. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell all your friends. And your friends don't have anything to do in this time, so they can 
they can watch my videos on repeat and come join the live stream. I don't care if they're not taking GCSE or weren't meant to be taking GCSE history or A level history or if they don't like it. They can come join the live stream. We're all about the live streams here. Stay safe. Social distance. You've got this. I've got this. We've got this. Wesav, yay, Harlow.